are officially dead, okay? I can't even do this video with a straight face. I'm sorry. Last night, the Grammys were on on CBS. Nobody watched, apparently. I was just reading an article that the ratings are down 21%. So I'm doing this video for four people that tuned in and myself, okay? Because I think every year I keep thinking that uh, music shows and award shows are going to be relevant to my life, are going to be life-changing for pop culture, and sometimes they are. But let's be honest, I really miss the days when Miley Cyrus dressed in that latex condom and Robin Thicke was grinding on her. And then remember when Lady Gaga hatched from an egg? Yeah, I miss those moments. And Kanye West, I have never missed Kanye West more than last night. Someone needed to storm that stage and put that show out of its misery because it was so bad. The Grammys are dead, they're tone deaf, and if you didn't watch last night, you didn't miss much, to be honest with you. Um, it was supposed to be a big Time's Up Women in Pay Equality by women walking the red carpet and men, everyone, wearing and carrying a white rose, which lots of people did. But of course, there was a huge issue, which was the Grammys had a real lack of women nominated in various categories. Lord being an example, she was the only one nominated for Best Album, and oh, Lord lost. And then also what was super tone deaf is Neil Portnow, who's the head of the Grammys, made some statements last night that the reason that very few women were nominated in various categories is because women need to be more creative and that essentially they need to put themselves in producer roles. Okay, Neil, um, I think we're trying to do that, but um, you know, when you have to sit on everyone's lap and suck so many dicks, that sort of takes away from the time that we could be creative. There's a really great article in Rolling Stone magazine that's been out all about sexual harassment in the country music business. So worth a read. And once you read that, you're going to know, oh, it's just not good. Um, some highlights last night included Kendrick Lamar and then, of course, Dave Chappelle sort of interjecting, which was hysterical. But can someone please tell me what people's obsession is with you 2 I hate you 2 I'm sorry. I don't like Bono. I'm over him. I mean, we have a Russian probe. How about the Bono probe? That guy is everywhere. He's in our phones. He's on Saturday Night Live every week. He's at every damn award show. I mean, I'm over Bono enough. Kesha had a really strong performance as well. Of course, she's going through her lawsuit with Dr. Luke, so that was very powerful. A lot of people complaining, though, that many women on stage actually couldn't perform solo, Lord Cardi B, because they had to be accompanied by guys or they were doing backup for men. I agree. So here's the thing. I think the Grammys are totally dead. I want to know what you think. And my three things that I feel like the Grammys need to do if they want to save the show because no one's going to tune in again is essentially fire Neil Portnow now. The guy's clearly so out of touch. I mean, it's not even funny, but it's so funny because the whole premise last night was time's up, but it was like, oh, I don't think anyone got the memo. Fire Neil Portnow, you need somebody else that's ahead of the Grammys. Also, take that shit online. No one's watching CBS anymore. And it's so conservative. The show needs to be online where people like Cardi B can host. Can you imagine Cardi B? First of all, she had tingles in her vagina on the red carpet just being excited when she was there. Let those tingles have a microphone so we can all enjoy it. And lastly, the Grammys and many other award shows have to become more relatable to your life and my life. It's the truth. Why do we care? Well, we care about the process of becoming becoming a celebrity. The shows need to be much shorter in their performances and much more about the artists, the creativity, how these people collaborate. Because let me tell you, when I saw that Sting and Shaggy were friends, what? <laughs> I need to know all about that. Look, the Grammys suck. I'm never watching again. Are you? Tell me what you think the Grammys need to do to change or are you giving up on the show? Love you. If you love the video, subscribe.